Meany, what a way to finish your international career and get over for a try as well. Special night for you. Thanks, mate. Yeah, no, it's, uh, it's, it's, it's been a special week. I think uh, Coach Stan and the uh, coaching staff and all the players, they've really made a special week for me and my family. And, uh, you know, to, to top it off with a, uh, a win is, uh, is a huge bonus. What has it meant to you to, to wear that jersey for, I think, what, 14 years now? Yeah, it's, it's meant everything, you know. I think, uh, you know, if I don't play in that 2008 World Cup, uh, if I don't give him that opportunity, I don't think I'd be here today. So it's meant everything to me. It's, it's given me a life. Uh, I've been able to provide for my family because of that opportunity. And you know, hopefully some of the young guys coming through can you know, take the same opportunity and do something good with it. Coach, what is it, what's David meant to PNG Rugby League and how pleasing to send him out like this? Uh, well, this is, um, <clears throat> you know, the, for David, uh, when I first worked with him, six or seven years ago he was uh, the young boys coming up just the uh, input that david has um in for png as well just been massive so to finish off like this it's uh, quite significant and just resembles the uh, sort of person he is i think uh, he didn't want to make it about him um all week it was just team first and um it's just good that um got the win tonight now, Eddie, I media I called you in that first World Cup in 2008. If the Prime Minister rang you tomorrow and asked you to reconsider, what would you say? Uh, I've made, uh, you know, I've made my decision and I'm firm with it. Uh, first of all, I'd, I would appreciate the call, but you know, there's a lot of young guys coming through, and you know, there's so much talent that that can uh, that can be seen at the world stage. And I think uh, it would be very beneficial for them and the country for you know for them to take that opportunity. I was given that chance at 19 years old, so I'd really hope for one of these young guys to take that as well. Maybe you've played in some great games and some great wins for the Corns over the years. Where does that one rank? Like, tough conditions, really good side, but you guys played really tough and stuck to it and got the win. That one's right up there, uh, because not, I think just because of the way we handled some adversity early on, uh, to Fiji's credit, they come, came out early and you know, started really fast. I think they surprised us a bit. Now, they were running hard, tackling hard, and quick play of the balls. All that stuff was, you know, they were putting us on the back foot. And, you know, I think we showed really true Kumul spirit to hang in there and uh, to come out on top at half time and then, you know, run away with the win at the end. Can you talk us through the try? Well, I just saw uh, Lockie Lamb. Uh, he called for the ball. He wanted it. He saw a little bit of space, and I thought, you know, push up in support on the inside and something might happen. So, you know, I was, uh, I'm, I'm just glad that, you know, he passed me the ball and I was able to score a try on the back of it. Hey, how special is it to be able to get the win there in front of your family who flew down from Brisbane to watch? Oh, it's so special. You know, I think uh, obviously always winning is nice, but you know, even if we lost, just the week itself has been really good. Uh, Coach Stan and the staff and the players, they've made it really special for me. You know, they got my wife and son to come present my jersey to me, which you know, meant everything to me. So that was nice in itself. And you know, if we lost tonight, you know, I'd still go home a winner. I think you said during the week that the emotion might not hit you kind of until you were out there on game day. Was that the case? Yeah, it was. You know, I try not to think about it too much because I, you know, I didn't want to tire myself out before the game. But you know, now that all the adrenaline's uh, you know settled, uh, hopefully you know I can keep it together in the dressing sheds when we get back in there. And, oh, sorry. Okay. So how important is it when you've got, obviously it's difficult to build a team in a very short amount of time, but when you've got so many players who come from the same group in the Hunters, yeah. it seemed to really pay off in terms of, especially defensively. Yeah, it did uh, tonight. Um, you know, we haven't been going that well up in the Hunters, but um, you can just see the step up as soon as they wear the jersey um, and connect with uh, the likes of Meadie and Alex and Justin. I think they um, really did that. And um, defensively, as you said, like, it, Really stepped up for the um, for the 80 minutes. You must be a bit worried then, because you know there's another team coming into the NRL next year, and they must be looking at some of those players who are already a lot spend a lot of time in that part of the world. Going, why don't we have a look at Nixon, Port, and Mackenzie Lee? Yeah, well, it, it's um, not really worried, but probably um, if if, uh, if if they do um, look at them, it'd be a huge uh, boost for us going forward. Like for the you know the more NRL players we have. Um, um, or playing at a higher level is better better for us. So. Stan, what about you tonight? You know, yeah. childhood dream to coach the Quibbles. I know we spoke about a couple of weeks ago, thinking about the Wagambi family, yeah. those in those early days to more, more recent times. A huge thrill for you, a dream come true? Yeah, it is. I, I was really nervous, uh, actually. Uh, worst, uh, probably 
more nervous than the players. Um, I didn't know, um, you know, how I'd end the week, but um, it was good having the senior players, um, David, Alex, and Justin, in camp that I've worked with before as an assistant coach. So um, that made my transition during the week uh, really good, and um, hopefully we can build from here. And does a win like that get you excited for the World Cup at the end of the year? Yeah, it does. Um, uh, uh, these players. Um, <clears throat> You know, I, I got a, a bit of criticism, I think, the, the way um, that the selection process happened, especially having a lot of Hunters players. And I think they um, uh, played well tonight to put that to bed and um, they'll um, improve from this going to the World Cup.